Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. I have some forgotten friends in here that we are going to play with today. I actually have another tub over there too. So we'll get started just as soon as we say hi and hugs to Barbara, Rhonda, Charlotte, and Joyce. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so this whole this whole thing is a tub that is labeled tags. I also have this tub that is labeled letters and words. <laughs> this maybe could have been two videos, but on the other hand, it's like let's just they were stacked together. So let's just see these two tubs I have had since I very first began um, mixed media and and then journals. So who knows? Okay, so these little these little um, calendars are awesome for quotes and such. So this one is friendship. As you can see, got it at the Goodwill for 99 cents. This one, thank you. Oh, there's some really nice quotes in there. Okay, and then look at this one. This guy has a really old rubber band that has given up the ghost. Okay, but this one is uh, Bible sayings and daily spirit lifters, it's called. And it's very grungy. I think it's gotten wet over the years. And I got it either in a state sale, garage sale, but just thought these little um, Bible scriptures were fun. And then there's this one. Living the Love Dare. So some of them are faith and such, but yeah. So I have all those that literally haven't used in years and years. And so maybe we can make some stuff with some quotes on it or something. Dear Lizzie. Okay, those are for another day. <laughs> oh, and these must be torn out of this one. These are ones that I've used, used partially. That word friendship at the top could be fun on something too. Okay. So, there you have it. There is all of that. And we might use, oh, look at these words. Wow, yeah. Okay, yep, this is from my mixed media days for sure because they're just kind of all over the place. All right, um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, gosh, le these are steel letters. These are cardboard. Okay. Here's one that's already torn out by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, and then I have, oh boy, I have a ton of these kind of stickers. American Craft Amy Tangerine. Wow, I have a lot of those. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, I forgot to look at the time. I better double check. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what we're going to do with any of these to speak of, but I'm kind of feeling like, where is, let me grab my to-do box. Thank you. Sorry, I'm still all packed for my retreat, but I was thinking that like I just pull out I've got some of these um, these are postcards 
that I already did. And I'm thinking some of those, like these bigger quotes, there might be something we could do with that. So, sorry, I'm doing a bit of flipping and flapping around because I don't really know what I'm going to do here. But we're going to give it a whirl. Okay, I do have my vintage photo. Um, where do I have this? My tear ruler. Okay. Okay, I think I might be set. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I love this. It was right at the top. It's Corinthians 13, 13. Now abideth faith, hope, love. These three things, but the greatest of these is love. So let's try to tear this out. And what why I was thinking of using these instead of like a tag is just because of the width of some of these quotes. I don't know that it would fit very well on a tag. Okay, whoops, that wasn't the best. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. I should probably not even be trying to make videos in between now and my retreat because I really am just kind of struggling because things are packed away and I don't do well in disarray, as you know. <laughs> And my room is like, there's no walk-in space. There's stuff all over the floor. Oh, it's just, it's just a hot mess is what it is. And so it kind of makes me not know what to do with myself. Now I do kind of like that. I would like a bird. Now that's a whole nother thing. Am I going to be able to get at anything? Maybe I need to use things I don't normally use. How's that for an idea? Um, let's see. Let's see what I might have that's still on my rolly carts. Everything ephemera-wise and decorating-wise is packed away. So, but maybe, who's this from? Tsunami Rose. Some tsunami rose stuff, maybe a flower or something. Um, this one might not. Didn't want anything too, too huge. So what if I put that little flower right there? I feel like a butterfly could go there. I don't really... Do I have any butterflies? Not where I can get them. Okay, isn't this a great video, guys? <laughs> Jeez. Well, if I had that, I could do that. If I had this, I could do this. But, you know, it's... I don't. Everything's packed. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to just give this a whirl. We'll, we'll just see where we get to on this. Oh, so today was a fun day. I got my hairs cut. And then um, yesterday, my friend and I tried to go get a pedicure, couldn't get one. They wouldn't take a walk in. But there's a place kind of close to my hairdresser. And I thought, you know, after I get my hair cut, I'm just going to see. Well, sure enough, they gave me a pedicure. It's the first one I've had. I don't know about you guys, but it's the first one I've had since um, uh, the, you know what? Um, I hadn't, I just hadn't gone back in for one. I got out of the habit of going, of course, because I wasn't going anywhere to speak of and got out of the habit. And today, oh, I had that massage chair going. I'm telling you what. Um, there is something to be said <laughs> for a pedicure. I think I'm going to move that down a little bit like that. Okay. Um, anyway, got the massage in, which I needed 
because my last retreat, oh, I had it in the shoulder so bad from, <laughs> from just making journal after journal and sitting and doing this kind of thing. Oh, okay. I actually think that's kind of fine. I wonder if there's... Well, like I have these from Amy at Crafty Cat. Maybe something in here would be good. Yeah, I'm going to put that on there. That'll be just fine. Instead of a... a instead of a butterfly. I'm just going to use some of the things that I don't pull out all the time. It, not a bad thing to do on Forgotten Friends Friday. We'll just use some of the things that that I did not pack away. Okay. Well, I think that's I think that's a a done postcard is what that is. Aren't those little quotes great, though? Um, so, yeah, obviously, I picked up those little calendars at the thrift store whenever I saw them. We'll see if we can do one with another type. So, so that one came off of here is, is where that one came came from and see how nice that just makes a fun little thing okay cool so gosh there's so many things in this box that are forgotten friends I'm just gonna have to really do forgotten friends Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday <laughs> oh okay I wonder if I could maybe put something across there let's see if there's a friend one let's just toss these up there for now let's use this friend one and see what we can do Ooh, that's nice i think i'll use that it says to love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides David Viscott. So, okay. Um, again, I think I'm going to use my tear ruler and just let's tear out this word friendship too while we're at it. Yeah, so I really did. I forgot how incredible uh a pedicure feels <laughs> um and the massage chair was much needed as well i was thinking about calling somewhere to see if i could get a massage out because i i really was i was i was actually kind of in pain um at the retreat oh that's gonna stick down in there Although, I kind of like it like that with this torn edge. So, maybe we'll just keep that. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. Yeah, so anyway, it helped. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit looser. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be fun on something. Not this one, but something. I like that. Um, what do I have in here? This little thing has a bunch of stickers and things in it that I don't use as much as I could. There's a dragonfly perhaps I could put up there oh yeah it's over here on the side it's not the easiest but again a thrift store purchase of this little photo album and then I just stuck some random things in it Ugh. get that over there 
there. Okay, so can I kind of go like that? Then I feel like I'm going to need something down there too. A flower maybe? Yeah. This is from Tsunami Rose Mystery Box number 25. So yeah, she's got and then maybe that there and you up higher. Maybe you right there. Okay. I think we have a plan. Just make a few things from these letters and words. I think we might save the tags for another day just because I have my work cut out for me on these forgotten friends of calendars, don't I? Okay. So you you're there and you're there and that's okay if that goes over the top okay so if I can get that right there I'm using my teeny weeny uhu I ordered the wrong thing one time on Amazon and got all these little itty bitty sticks so when other things are packed away I like to try and like to try and use them. Something like right about there. <clears throat> so. so yeah, a lovely day. I think after I film this video, I am going to go outside and sit in the sunshine. We're supposed to be getting cooler weather coming, so I kind of want to take advantage while I can of the nice, nice, nice weather. Gosh, well, even I found these in my to-do box. I actually, at my retreat, is um, where I sewed around them. They were, they were in my box, but they were not sewn around. So, did that. Okay, well, that's that's fun and fine. Oh, I wanted to tell you, I forgot to tell you in yesterday's video, but I wanted to tell you in this video. So my daughter, Joni, who is in Denver, she is a real estate agent in Denver. Well, she is working with her son now, uh, her son is a freshman in high school, and he is helping her with um, her Instagram and YouTube channel, and she's been doing some little, like, short videos, and sometimes she goes through a house, sometimes she's just being silly on there, and... and um, she asked her mama's advice when she first started this. And I said, Joni, be yourself. That, you, you know, that's what you're best at. <laughs> that's what everyone's best at is being themselves. So I said, just be yourself on there. And I think it'll be great. So anyway, she has a new YouTube channel. And I promised my grandson, who is just, he's just so cute. He's like... Dana, did you know she got this many views on this little short video and this and that? And so he does, he's he's the CEO of her social media. So he does keep track of these things and is just rooting his mama on. So um, I said, well, maybe it would help if I mention it on my YouTube channel. And I bet you my friends... My crafting friends over there on my channel might go over and subscribe to your mom. So, 
It is Joan G. Here, I'll, I'll write it down. Here's a, here's a posty note. I'll write it real quick. It's Joan G. And then I think there's an underline and a cells and an underline like that. So Joan G. Cells like that. Anyway, I would so appreciate it for you to go over and just subscribe and put on notifications. So when she she's just doing shorts for pretty much for now, unless she's touring a whole house. And um, I would just appreciate it if you go over and give her a little um, give her a little subscribe and everything my pal Millie G hi Millie Millie uh, bought a house from my daughter Joni she had moved to the Denver area and um, and yeah so she she knows Joni don't you Millie and she's a sweetheart and I love I love that she's doing some kind of just tongue-in-cheek and goofy videos it's like you know if you can't have fun with it, it's not worth doing, if you ask me. So, oh, that's not bad, is it? It's got numbers, but I don't know if I care about that. So, anyway, I will put a link to her YouTube in the description box of this video. And I just appreciate it, you guys. It's just... It's just fun to see your kids doing stuff. And it tickles me to death that she's doing it with her son. And her son is helping and, you know, and she's, you know, giving him some experience as well as just, um, yeah, just kind of, I mean, I, I think... You know, for the most part, most of us aren't going to buy a house in Denver. But I'll tell you what, every once in a while, huh, Millie? It comes up. And um, I I don't know about you, but I'm sort of a, I'm sort of a little bit of a real estate stalker. Like when I can't sleep at night, if I go on to the real estate listings here and just thumb through them, it makes me sleepy before I know it. And off I go. And I, I don't know. I just like looking at the houses that are available and stuff. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? I'm kind of wondering. Oh, I think they're within reach. What I'm wondering about is a Tim Holtz person. I mean, I have all my bags around me, but some stuff is totally buried. Um... I wonder if I have a little short somebody. Let's see. Those are, these are solos. Okay. Let's just see. I don't know. I might not. And they might all be too big. But we'll just see. It's this little person. Oh my gosh. He's adorable. Okay. Okay, little dude. You want to be on this journal card? Okay. Let's do it. How cute is he? His little... Oh, his little... I don't know. It sort of looks like a safari coat or something. I don't know. Oh. So, I'm glad I remembered to ask you about that. I might have trouble with this because I left the the pin fell out in my transporting things and I left I didn't realize it of course. And so kind of had a moment of uh oh <laughs> my art glitter glue is going to dry up. Oh, this is feels like I feel very uh, discombobulated. I promise I'll get back to my old self. Once I get back from this next retreat, at least until I start getting ready for the one in July that my subscribers are coming to, my subscriber friends. Let's go 
gonna be so fun. Okay, little dude, you're gonna go right there because you are literally the perfect size. <sighs> so, I'm happy, I'm happy with this little one. I think it's really fun. So I went to get, I was telling you, I went to get my hair cut. Well, they have two, I think they're called French Bulldogs that kind of just hang out in the shop. <laughs> They've got their little bed and stuff. And the one little guy, he was just loving me. And um, this is kind of funny. So um, I was sitting in the waiting room and he came running over and I was petting him and stuff. And then, and then my gal, Janie, she came and got me and um, we went over to the, you know, to the hair shampooing place. Let's see. We haven't done this one yet. Um, we went over to the hair shampooing place and <laughs> I, I'm laying there, you know, with my head in the sink and everything. And that little guy was, I had flip flops on. He was licking my toes. <laughs> oh, it cracked me up. Okay, life is a marathon, not a sprint. This means you must balance, prioritize, and pace yourself. That's kind of a good one. Oh, man, I like this one. Patience makes us wise. Patience stands in the doorway where anger is clawing to burst in. But wait to see the whole picture before passing judgment. Ooh, isn't that a good one? That's a good one. Okay, so we're going to get this guy ready. They have that friendship one up there, too. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was just kind of tickled with my little doggy pal at the hairdressers. Oh, let's see. Do I want it there? It says day 12, love is patient. And then it has that awesome patience quote. I think I'll leave that I mean I don't know if they make these calendars anymore even I guess I haven't been somewhere you know that would have been a place where they would sell them I mean in some ways that's about all that needs isn't it I want to no nope, I really I don't know it's funky but I like it so I'm gonna put that in there um yeah anyway so I had a lovely little encounter with French Bulldog today <laughs> he liked me <laughs> like as he's licking my toes I'm thinking oh I hope they can get me in for a pedicure I need to wash my feet. I got dog slobber all over. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so I'm going to pop that right about there. Hands are sticky. Did you notice I'm wearing my May sweatshirt? It was freezing in my craft room. So I was like, I think I'll just... I think I'll just pop on that sweatshirt. Now I'm just nice and toasty. Oh, look, that one has a little, a little stamp on it and everything. Okay. I think I'd like something like... Like a little flower or something. Right there. See, that kind of fills up that space a little bit. Do I want that size or do I want a little bigger one? That's the question. This is nice, too. Blends in too much. Oh, I think I like that little guy. First one is the choice. Well, we're going to get a few cards done today. That's happy whilst using our calendars that's 
Okay, so there's more fodder in these for Forgotten Fridays to come. I need to remember that because it's kind of great to use some of this stuff, right? Okay, there's that one. So, um, okay, so we have this one left that we haven't used yet. Um, ooh, I like this one. Even the woodpecker owes his success to the fact that he uses his head and keeps pecking away until he finishes the job he starts. <laughs> oh, boy. This one, what a wonderful life I've had. I only wish I'd realized it sooner. Wow, that's profound. I got to use that one, I think. Sorry, little woodpeckers. You didn't make the cut this time. Because that is really good. Let's see here. I really kind of like this, too. So let's just fussy tear this. How about... That's a fun little scrap. So yeah, I got the pedicure and then I I went um, by, we got this new place crumble cookies and I did the drive through, it was perfect. So that I could bring my home a treat. Never mind, he had caramel pecan cheesecake for me last night when I got home from my retreat. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to leave more often if you're going to miss me and make me a caramel pecan cheesecake. Wow. It was good. So, Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. And then we'll decide if there's anything anywhere to go from there. Okay, so this basically became a using old calendar quotes kind of a video, didn't it? Put that there. Like so. Okay, that's good. Gosh, I love that quote. Um, I don't know what else this needs. I'm just kind of noodling on it here. What do you need? Good little space for journaling on the back, though, isn't it? Okay. some lace a little bit of lace right there oh I like what that does to that edge that's good um, I don't know if it needs something right there thanks for crafting with me today yeah I'm still not sure I think they'll still I think there'll still be days when I've got a little gap in my videos and I forgive me that it just everything was too close too quick so but I'll have lots to tell you when I get home from my other retreat because it's a it's a journaling retreat and the one I went to the last Last week was um, quilters, card makers, and I was the only one that made journals. Um, I did see in here, did I not? Yes, I did. A little butterfly. That'd be cute. I just think I need something at this intersection where these papers intersect. 
I think that's kind of cute. We'll just do that. Or do we want a flower? The butterfly's cute. Small, small little flower. There's this. Nope, I like the butterfly better. Nope, I think we're gonna go with the butterfly. Okay, we have one more to go. That's all we've got. So well, this was kind of goofy. I mean, I really started this video off not knowing exactly what I was going to do. But I'm glad to have used these little quotes. Those are really fun. Okay, so this one, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we've got our friendship, don't we? Oh, that looks cute right there, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can just give that a little of that. That's just going to be raggedy at the top, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Okay. Let's put that there and then figure out where to go from there. hard to get those little scrappy bits. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, we got that bit. Now, something there. No. This flower looks like it might fit there. Put that right there. And then could we put um, all of these of Amy's are money. Except for there's one that's not. I'm going to just put that there. There it is. There it is. Okay, so let's get this down first. I guess we better give him a little give him a little brush on the edges. Okay. Put that there. And Just put that there. Okay. And then go around this one. And we finished off all those postcards. Yay! Uh, just needed a little, some idea of what to do with them, which was use up those calendar quotes. Awesome. Okay. So here's what we did today. We did this one, which was the top of one of the calendar quotes. This one. This one. This little guy. I think it's so adorable. Did this one. So we did six of them, didn't we? Wow. 
and this one. So there we go. There we go. We are going to call that Forgotten Friday or Forgotten Friends Friday for this week. Um, yeah, look for these in your in your Goodwill store because, you know, I mean, these are the, what do they call them? Oh, yeah, 1997 was when this one was. And, um, and I think a lot of people saved these. So it, they probably, you know, from estate sales and stuff, and then nobody buys them, so they end up in the thrift store. I was going to try and see when this one was. 1984. So, yeah, those are handy for getting little quotes out of and that sort of thing. So thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!